Hey guys, hey Kelly Kalor and Ben Simone. We're at the Javits Center today with Special Olympics at ESPN. Stacey, tell me a little bit about why the Special Olympics is so incredible. Special Olympics New York has 68,000 athletes across the state, people with intellectual disabilities who want to competitively compete and train in about 22 Olympic style sports. Oh my God, so today they're playing hockey. This is our hockey regional tournament. So they have already practiced, they've already trained, they've already beaten out their fellow teams back oh home in their counties. And That's these amazing. are the champions and somebody here will take home the gold medal. So Team ESPN, what is so special about being here today? Anyone Talk about it, anybody? Yeah, just the just the general atmosphere. Everyone's yeah. super pumped to be here. You can see that on their faces; they're just thrilled, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's infectious. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. ESPN, just so you know, Disney, ESPN, ABC have been doing this for years, mm -hmm. years, and, and years. not just for Special Olympics New York. ESPN is a massive partner for Special Olympics International, probably one of their best. So when we have our USA Games, our World Games, it is on Sponsor the ESPN, ESPN highlights, it's on the, which just raises the awareness for our athletes and shows that it's really important and it's real competitive sports. Oh my God, I love that. All right, you guys, all together, let's say happy holidays. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy holidays! Hey guys, I'm Kelly Kalora and Ben Simo here at the Special Olympics with Ranger Ron Greshner. What's yes. happening? I just, it's amazing. Let's go Rangers. Let's, always that. Always. Now, now it's Olympics. Now it's Special Olympics. Special Olympics. Like we love that. We're here. And I was like blown away today when I walked in and I saw how the rinks are set up and how many athletes are here. It's, I'm, I'm coming back every year now. Yeah. I know. I, we appreciate that. So the great thing about the Special Olympics is that some people win and some people lose. It's not, you know, protected. So. There's a lot of emotions are really running really, really high today. It's a very competitive game. We really appreciate you being here. Stacey, do you have any words about just no, working just together, playing together? Having gotten here, I think it respecting our athletes so much because they're such dangerous fans and hockey fans, and that's what they want to do. So I think it's uh, just really just built up the excitement that we're all feeling. The same who gets to wear the winning jersey. That's I'm so great. That I, so I, 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 I played 16 years, never won a cup, but I got close. You get a little, like, you know, you get up, but the next year you try harder. Right. Well, we do have unified sports, the Special Olympics, so half the people on the team have an intellectual disability, half don't. So I'm just saying, there's still hope. Yep. Maybe you can get that championship. I might have to do that next year. You guys well, have to get in shape. I gotta get in shape. Let's do it. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> Thanks, see. guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.